I am beyond excited for today's video because I'm going to be getting my hands on my first drill. This was uh, quite the grind, a lot of long forge upgrades, but I'm going to show you guys that process. We're going to test it out, show off the drill mechanic, as well as a few other things regarding the drills. If you're new to the channel and you're currently enjoying the daily uploads, make sure you guys subscribe. Um, uh, you know, we're on the road to 70,000 subscribers, and if you guys could be a part of that, that would be absolutely insane. You can change your mind at absolutely any time. Because uh, it's completely free. That's the best part about subscribing here on YouTube. So make sure you guys do so and leave a like on the video while you guys are down there. And without further ado, let's jump right into this one. Before I can get my hands on the drill, we have a lot of very long upgrades that need to take place. So I recorded a couple clips while those were going on because honestly, some of these upgrades cost a lot of coins as well as required a ton of grinding. So I'm just going to show those really quickly because I think they deserve to see the light of the day. This felt like a monumental moment to kind of start uh, showing. My golden plate just finished... Um, yeah, being forged. So I have that now. And so now I need to start the drill engine, which requires one enchanted iron block, three enchanted redstone blocks, the golden plate I just got, 10 treasureite, which are a lot harder to get than you think. I bought most of them, and a refined diamond. This upgrade takes a day and six hours. So we're going to go ahead and start it. This is the most important part for the drill, though. As you can see, for the uh, drill that we have up here, I need a drill engine, which we're about to craft three refined mithril and my third refined mithril is almost done and a fuel tank which i already have so it is finally time to start the drill engine and then after this i should have every piece needed to actually go ahead and craft this amazing drill so i cannot wait a day and six hours i'll be back then that's the long wait big news i just had the longest upgrade in the forge just finished and that is the drill engine for those of you who don't know this thing takes a day and six hours and it's finally done. So I'm gonna go ahead and claim that. As you can see, we got our drill engine. I have a fuel tank here, as well as three refined mithril, and this should be enough to actually go ahead and craft our first drill. I'm so excited to finally have this thing, the Mithril Drill SXR226, and it'll be done in four hours time. That is beyond exciting and the upgrade has now begun. It's only a matter of time. I just completed a commission, which is a pretty regular process. It was mine, 500 mithril, didn't take too long. But if I come over to this emissary and I claim this, Heart of the Mountain Tier 4. That is amazing. We actually did it. Now we're on our way to Tier 5, which requires 75k. This could be quite the grind, but I'm, I'm excited for it. So I have two more tokens, I believe, and new forgeable items. First thing I want to do is get to a fishing miner. This perk is insane. When mining ores, you have a percent chance to mine adjacent ores. And as you level it up, it becomes more than one block beside it, and it can get really good. So I definitely want to start dumping a lot of my um, kind of powder into that. So that's something we're going to do. And then daily powder, we're just going to get that because we need to have it at least at level one to reach efficient miner. And we're going to go ahead and get efficient miner. I don't know how much powder I have. I have 13k, not bad, but we're just going to go ahead and dump it all into efficient miner right now. And uh, there we go. So I got to level 18. Obviously, I need to get a lot more. I might even reset it and just so that I can kind of grab a lot more uh, powder that I had in like mining speed and titanium and sanium and dump that in efficient miner. But overall, I'm happy with this for now. In terms of the items that we got from the forge, um, we did get a drill upgrade. But right now, I am waiting to actually get my drill to finish crafting. It's almost done. Two hours and eight minutes left, and then I have my drill. So, uh, yeah, well, I'll be able to look at those once this is complete. So I'll be back once my uh, drill is actually finished crafting. I just got the message in my chat saying my Mithril drill is uh, actually completed. I am so excited for this. The Mithril drill XXR226 is complete. Boom. There we go. That thing looks amazing my base mining speed of 450 and uh, i actually already have the upgrade version unlocked as well now that i'm tier 4 but i do not have the materials i need 10 golden plates and two mithril plates which is quite the grind i can also now see the titanium artifact beacon tier 4 uh goblin omelet what's this um it's an upgrade module for the drill oh there's a drill engine here okay can be applied to drills by talking to jotrelin uh, great forge in the dwarven mines okay and this requires 10 drill engines five plasma four mithril plates and five refined titanium that's ridiculous grants plus 50 mining speed that's gonna be worth it eventually though and uh yeah those are kind of the new things that we can see but this is the big one the mithril drill sxr 326 instead of 226 
And this has another base mining speed of 150 from the drill I have now. So that's gonna be something we're working towards. As you can see right now, I do actually have a mithril plate on the go. 10 and a half hours left. It is a long craft, it's 18 hours and uh, it's quite expensive as well. I do also need 10 golden plates. So I'm probably gonna start on one of those right now. Hopefully they fix the forge slots quite soon. This is gonna make this process a lot easier. But overall, I'm really happy with what we got. I also want to start working my way towards this artifact here soon. Um, that's definitely going to be a goal. Also, I don't know why I have Streamlab alerts on. Why is that happening? With our new drill, there are a few things that I want to do right off the bat. First being, I want to throw a reforge on that. So we're going to go ahead and throw on a diamondite, which actually gives the fleet reforge. It's actually really good. Even without this recombobulate, will grant me an extra 25 mining speed. As you can see, 60k coins to apply. And if I throw a recombobulator on that, it actually turns it into plus 40. So it's an extra 15 on top of that. So I will take that as well. And what's nice is when you upgrade the drill, I've already seen it with my own eyes, everything should stay on. So I am kind of counting on that for this update. And uh, another thing I also want to do is we're going to open up the enchantment table. We're going to throw on the basics efficiency five. We're going to throw on telekinesis. Um, we also want experience three. Fortune 3, and uh, that should be good. I also want to go ahead and buy a compact book off the auction house. So let's look up compact. We're going to go to consumables, lowest price, uh, a little over a million coins. Not too bad, actually. And uh, it doesn't, I guess I can't have that one. I'll, I'll get this one instead, I guess. There we go. Perfect. We got it. Claim it from the auction house like so um, we're gonna do slash anvil i love all these commands by the way like the quality of life stuff is just amazing we're gonna add compact on this thing and uh now it is a it's a hefty scroll to read the entire thing but man that thing is gorgeous i'm so happy i finally have a drill you guys actually don't know how excited i am to finally have my hands on a drill i've done quite a bit of mining since then as you can see i already have compact four on it working on leveling that up I also, I believe I showed myself recombobulating it in the last clip. I honestly have been grinding for the last few hours and forgot to complete this video. So that's kind of what I'm doing right now. And we're going to go ahead and test out the drill a little bit. And I was going to see if I had a commission to work on, but I am not doing 200 ice walkers right now in front of you guys. I will not bore you guys with that process. By the way, worst commission in the game by far. But our drill here, as you can see, this thing is amazing. I love this thing so much. And what's super cool is there's actually three spots where you can add new things, like a fuel tank, a drill engine, and an upgrade module. I'm going to wait till I'm uh, hard to the mountain tier 5 before I start looking into that. At the moment, I'm working my way there. I am 12.2%. This is still quite the grind. This is going to take me a few days, I'm going to be honest. I don't know how much time I have with school starting back up again to actually um, catch up because there are already two players at the time recording this who have reached Hard of the Mountain Tier 5. And because they don't want to leak the recipes, I will not be leaking what you actually require for some of those drills just yet, possibly in a future video. I'm going to respect their wishes. They did show me what you need, and I don't want to spoil that and uh, lo lose their trust because they're they're good people to have on my side right now who have those recipes so um yeah right now i'm working on the golden plate and a mithril plate as you can see working my way up to maybe possibly upgrading this to the next version of the mithril drill we'll have to see in the next few days but let's go ahead and give this thing a speed test really quickly so on the gray wool um, which is one of the easier spots to mine obviously as you work your way inside of a mithril vein it takes longer to mine the pieces gray wool um it goes pretty quick. It's uh, it's quite fast. I'm also very laggy right now, by the way. It took me like half an hour to get back on so I could even record this clip. And I wasn't even paying attention to my compact there. But it goes quite quickly. And I also have adjacent blocks now. So quite often, it'll mine blocks beside it, as you can just see that it did there. Kind of sim similar to the mineral armor. Um, when I'm even mining a piece of titanium, it doesn't take too long. The inner wool, not too bad as well. If we look at my base stat right now, I have 1,541 mining speed, which is actually pretty good in my opinion. Um, definitely working on trying to get that up. And what's really cool is that when you reach Heart of the Mountain Tier 3, you can unlock a perk called Mining Speed Boost. So when you right click, it grants plus 200% mining speed for 15 seconds, and it has a two minute cooldown. So let's actually run over to a vein uh, right here, and I'm going to right click this bad boy, and we're kind of just gonna abuse the speed buff because it's, it's quite insane. So regular speed right here, if I right click, 
as you can see, uh, it, it goes quite a bit faster. <laughs> it's, it's a little insane. And uh, with the adjacent blocks too, I definitely want to level that up so I can get even higher. Um, I don't actually need this golden go goblin, but I will kill it. I don't mind the powder whatsoever. But yeah, it's quite quick when it is not lagging. And honestly, I just love this drill. Anything towards progress is a good thing. And uh, having my first drill definitely is progress. I'm Beyond excited to have my hands on one of these things, finally. One other quick thing, um, some people might be wondering how fuel actually works. And so at the NPC in the Dwarven Village where you can buy the pickaxes, you can actually buy something called biofuel. And biofuel adds 3,000 drill fuel to a drill when applied in a drill anvil. Um, and you actually need to talk to this NPC right here, the drill mechanic who's next to the giant forge area. And uh, it's pretty interesting what this GUI kind of does. So first off, it is a way to add fuel. It also gives you a description of all the different items that provide fuel, including, including poppies and dandelions, which I didn't know about. And goblin eggs also give 2,000 fuel if you don't want to buy biofuel. And Volta is a drop, I believe, from... Who did they drop from? I can't even remember who they dropped from. They dropped from somewhere and they give you 10,000 fuel, but my fuel tank can't even store that. As you can see at the bottom there, my fuel, I can only hold 3,000. So if we want, we can actually go ahead and refill it very quickly just by throwing in a biofuel, as you can see. And uh, it's quite cheap. It's 1.2 million coins for a stack of biofuel. And in terms of how long the fuel lasts, it's actually one fuel per block that you mine. And it does count when you get adjacent ones. So let's say I mine four blocks in one click. That takes down four uh, fuel points. So it does take still even a while for it to go down. But there's also upgrades in the forge where you can actually craft yourself larger fuel tanks. And there's actually one that can hold 25,000 fuel. So you can go a very long while between refills, which is actually a pretty uh, cool concept in my opinion. I like the idea of having to refuel it. Honestly, it just feels more complete as a, uh, as a tool. It's pretty interesting and... Honestly, I'm not against that mechanic whatsoever. Overall, I definitely recommend trying to get your hands on a drill as soon as possible. This thing definitely speeds up a lot of the mithril and titanium quests. And overall, it's just, it's like one of the best like mining tools in the game right now. So definitely get your hands on a mithril drill. I definitely recommend. Um, it's not too bad when you look at the prices. It just takes a long time with the forge, but there are ways to upgrade that such as in the heart of the mountain tree, you can upgrade your quick forge and you can actually speed up the time that takes for these types of upgrades and there's actually a gas right here so we're gonna kill this very quickly to end off today's video and uh, it doesn't look like it's gonna be too contested no oh, people are coming over now um, yeah definitely make sure you use these powder gas you guys get so much mithril powder from these especially during a two times powder event uh, right now it is not but I will definitely take this it doesn't look like there's actually too many people kind of hitting this I'm getting a lot of hits on this in the lobbies that I'm usually in, like usually we'll be in a party lobby and they just get absolutely annihilated. <laughs> Either way, that's going to be it for today's video. If you guys did enjoy, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel around here. Also, my Mithril Golem pet is now level 100. No candies. I, I've been doing a lot of mining. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope to see you guys in the next one. Take care and peace out.